Hi, Ananda Vatminabhan here from the print. I met Vikasa Sauda right behind the popular Vidhan Sauda in Bangalore. So early this week, the Andhra Pradesh government and the government of Karnataka had a social media standoff regarding which state has or will have the state-first quantum computer. In fact, the Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Bhai Bhut Naidu's claim that the Andhra Pradesh will have the quantum computer was refuted by the Karnataka Science and Technology Honorable Minister N. Bose Raju. For now, let us set aside the claims and arguments and look into what Karnataka has in it to amplify the quantum technology in the state, including quantum computing especially when the city of Bangalore will host the nation's first quantum summit on July 31st and August 1st happening in Bangalore. So let us talk to the Honorable Minister N. Bose Raju for more. Uh, hi, we have with us Honorable Minister N. S. Bose Raju with us. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, maybe we could uh, begin with what inspired uh, Karnataka to start yeah. a quantum action right. plan. Yeah. So quantum technology, now science is improved like a thing and it is most essential for the uh, country. So that is why as uh, quantum technology is uh, most uh, important subject now in the world and as well as in India also. In that respect, uh, already in Karnataka, our uh, IAC has already taken up this issue and the government has also supported uh, to IAC by funding uh, the research. So that is why this year, we are taking this uh, quantum technology as a uh, on priority. So on that basis, uh, now we are calling this one summit on 31st and 1st of August. So thousand, more than 1,000 delegates are participating in this. So as per our uh, knowledge, uh, Bangalore is having all infrastructure to develop this quantum technology. So uh, in India, this is the first summit, I think, in Bangalore started this. So now we are in other states, they have not called this type of summit. And already we had a two, three meetings with so many entrepreneurs and industrialists also. So we are taking back their feedback and their views, how to develop this and what government has to support for the industry. So after this summit, we'll come to some conclusion and in this uh, summit also, we are uh, finalizing our roadmap, how to proceed uh, in the future. So, Honorable Chief Minister and DC, Deputy Chief Minister will attend that function uh, and they will assure the uh, entrepreneurs and industries and startups, whatever they require infrastructure in Bangalore, government is ready to support. Yeah. So, by 2025, this quantum technology are to $20 billion business by 2035. So this is the first uh, uh, quantum technology Bangalore has already some enterprises nearly 80 to 90 members in different sections. This is for uh, defense, this is for uh, education, this is for uh, health. Uh, in like this uh, different different uh, enterprises they already started their work mm -hmm. and we already visited uh, QA. And we visited that uh, in, uh, this thing also business place. And you mean the startup QPA? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And 100% uh, 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 they are indigenous, they are prepared. Uh -huh. So our idea is also uh, as far as concerned, majority things should be from indigenous. We need not depend upon the other countries. Because sometimes you see when war declared Trump, uh, people like Trump, they may give um, drama. Mm -hmm. So that is why we want everything to be an indigenous. So in that way, government of Karnataka is prepared to support the all entrepreneurs and even some foreign investors also with the partnership we can have the encouragement for them also. Yeah, you have mentioned the IASC. It's been here around since 1909 and Bangalore has also a lot of startups. So how can these IISCs and startups no, come together? They have already startups and other projects also. They are getting the uh, help of the IISC. Uh, we already discussed with uh, so many entrepreneurs. They came yesterday, day for yesterday also. Mm -hmm. The health and uh, education, all other. They are already in touch with them. Okay. And they need some uh, uh, laboratory and other things they mentioned. So that also yesterday we discussed with the IISC people. But whatever they need, so they got a link with uh, Bombay and uh, as well as Bangalore, IAC. 
so uh, from the both the places they are exchanging their views and they are supporting so whatever uh, they require iac so the government is supporting government of india also they will support so the main uh, project where uh, the private people are taking the advice of the iac so is the government also planning to include foreign investment into these yes companies? generally that is why we have requested the uh, delegates from the other countries also the two nobel uh, prize holders also they are participating today they are coming yeah david gross is coming yes right. yes they are also joining with us so that is why we'll take the help of the entire uh, world anybody you all i think 11 countries people they are uh, attending okay. tomorrow summit so like that uh, uh, india we have to uh, encourage the canada gas and as well as uh, india in okay. any state from any state Yeah, the plan also mentioned introducing quantum education at various levels of yes. colleges, schools. Like, yes. how do you plan? Yes, it is more important. That is what, is, particularly Karnataka, what I am expressing to our, our friends. Uh, major education and health is most important for us. Okay. This is also for uh, defense. Also, they are very much interested on in this uh, quantum technology. Like that, uh, the so many views are there. So after the summit only, we will come to know what is uh, uh, how the entrepreneurs are. Uh, they will take up this issue so to collect all of them uh, express their views and come to some conclusion and the government is also by honorable uh, chief minister will uh, declare uh, uh, road map for future so we ultimately we want to bangalore as a uh, quantum technology city q city q city so will the q city be india's first q city or do you have any comments on it generally because we were because only after getting the information and feedback from the different uh, researchers even different uh, industries different these thing were involving industries it bt higher education health also uh, the concerned ministers and the secretaries also so after uh, the summit only we will come to some conclusion who are uh, interested in this and what are their requirements and we are government is ready to meet out their requirements okay. to create full infrastructure in bangalore if you can also ask like what can be the challenges or what are the right now challenges in implementing such a deep tech technology like one i think as for this uh, it is already they are they are happy uh, I, we discussed with three four uh, entrepreneurs oh okay uh, they are very happy they are uh, under progress they need some help by land and other things to establish here so that is why also our honorable uh, chief minister and deputy chief minister already uh, along with the industry minister it minister we discussed we are also arranging whatever they require either land power or water water it may be that is their uh, in general like uh, they will expect from the government mm. infrastructure mm. that is most important at a city like bangalore uh, uh, that is a greatness uh, get uh, some land or some uh, this thing the uh, sanar babu nadu he says that he will give us uh, some land there Hmm. Amravati, nothing is there. Is only except barren land, because okay. still they have to improve there. Okay. New capital, is it not? This is our world capital, Bangalore. Hmm. Everybody, even foreigners or Indian, any from any country, any state, they are attracted by Bangalore only. Yeah, it's already established by the ITBT and industry, startups, teachers. And we got IIT, we got IAC, hmm. Vishwasraya. Everything is here in Bangalore. Not like you mean that city. the Bangalore has already a legacy to boost. Generally, it. exactly, exactly. We have just spoken to the minister, honourable minister N. Bose Raju, and as he said, after the summit, the government and the state and the city is looking forward to formulating a quantum roadmap. Or after the summit, there will be more clarity on how to proceed with such a deep tech innovations. One thing that the minister emphasised is the fact that the legacy of Bangalore. For instance, IISC, JNCSR, all these institutions are hosted inside Bangalore. So these level playing ground has given the Bangalore an edge to start a technology like quantum technology initiative or whatever that is a quantum mission. So the city in the coming days is looking forward to the quantum summit. Thanks for watching. This is Ananda Padmanabhan signing off from Bangalore. Until next time.